Hi everyone, my name is Roberta and welcome to the 5 minutes or less how-to series where I share tips and tricks with you on arts and crafts in less than 5 minutes. Today I'm going to share with you how to spray paint your wood like a pro and while on a budget using graffiti paint without needing to sand or prime your wood. As soon as I got my Glowforge, I started making welcome signs and of course I painted them all sorts of colors. I started with a paintbrush and, and liquid paint and looked for the perfect liquid paint, which my favorite brand is Diffusion Mineral uh, Paint. But paint brushing took forever and it was expensive. Sometimes it left brush marks in the sides. While the signs were a pain and required multiple coats and patience and you have to wait in between coats because it takes forever to dry. So I started to look into spray painting. And I went to the store and I got the usual brands, which they worked fast and left a picture perfect painted wood. But because of the pressure, sometimes when I use them, they left bubbles, pulled paint, and even cracks, despite me sanding and priming the material. So I started to think about my travels, and I remember all of the beautiful street art that I've seen, most of which were painted with graffiti paint. So I looked into graffiti paint to paint my wood cutouts, and they work amazing. So graffiti paint is a highly durable and outdoor environment. Um, they tend to be waterproofed. Um, the paint comes out just with the right pressure and it consistently gives me a polished look without bubbles or cracks. And it dries up super quickly, less than 10 minutes. And they're over 250 vibrant colors and they're super affordable. So they're really great for painting wood. And in this video, I'm going to show you um, two samples, one without um, the sample being sanded or primed, just using the graffiti paint, and one with the sample being um, primed and with the graffiti paint. So you just heard all about using the right spray paint. Now let me share the technique of how I actually paint my material. I use uh, scraps of wood blocks and I add a double-sided tape to it and I stick my cutout to that wood block so that I can easily pick it up and get it to the sides and I spray all of the sides of the material including the cutouts of the letters like the L's and the E's etc. Once that's painted I paint the very top and I do two layers of paint. Because the graffiti paint dries so quickly it literally takes 10 minutes in between coats and I do between two and, and, and three coats. This is the finished look of the cutout that was not sanded but primed and graffiti painted. Uh, and it shows really nice uh, smooth lines and no bubbles, no cracks. And this is the finished look of the cutout without uh, being primed or sanded, just graffiti painted. It kind of looks the same. Very smooth lines, um, no cracks, no bubbles. It just looks beautiful. At the very end, I wanted to add the gloss finish. Um, and to do that, I use polycritic polycrylic which is water-based um, you don't really have to use this I don't think because the graffiti paint is uh, very durable outdoors but I wanted to give this a try and I used it on the two pieces and you can see because the first piece was not primed it starts to yellow with the polycrylic versus the piece that was primed did not yellow so something for you to keep in mind if you want to use a um, polycrylic coat at the end. And that's it. Did this video make you uh, convert from liquid paint into a spray paint painter? Well, if not, don't worry. I'm going to make a video for you on tips and tricks on how to use liquid paint soon. Um, but if you do like this video, please don't forget it to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching.